Now, competition among financial solutions is fierce, with demand for fast, secure, reliable and frictionless services. Visa acquired Currency Cloud late last year to empower banks, fintechs and FX brokers to offer multi-currency services through ready-made solutions embedded in software via APIs. Well, to look at what's happening now, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Colleen Ostrowski. She's the Global Treasurer and General Manager for Treasury as a Service at Visa. And Alex Stefanovsky, who's the Chief Currency Officer, Chief Strategy Officer, I should say, at Currency Cloud. It is good to see both of you and welcome to Cybos after a two-year absence when we all went Thank virtual. You. Colleen, let me start first with you because... This acquisition, it took place about 10 months ago. This is Visa buying Currency Cloud. What's been happening since then? And what can we expect as a result? Because obviously the two businesses yeah. have been integrated and that can be a pretty fraught process in its own right. It absolutely can be, you're right. Um, but we actually started with an investment in a commercial partnership with Currency Cloud. So we were really able to hit the ground running. We've been building solutions together already and even launched something called Weekend FX which allows Currency Cloud to provide their clients with competitive FX rates across a variety of currencies and corridors. Um, and this is 24 seven. So the rate holds even when FX markets are closed. It really allows clients to, it removes the need for clients to manage their FX risk themselves. So it's really a great partnership and we're, we're seeing the benefits of being better together already. And, and you obviously like it, otherwise you would never have gone along Absolutely. with this. <laughs> I mean, from your perspective, what have the benefits been? Yeah, so for Currency Cloud specifically, we have joined a parent company that shares our view of the market and of the opportunities in the market. Uh, and it's importantly a really good strategic and cultural fit. Uh, more specifically, Currency Cloud is now embarking on the next phase in our growth trajectory where we benefit from the Visa brand scale, depth of treasury expertise and distribution channels. And it's really exciting for the currency cloud technology to form the backbone of the new cross-border solutions we're developing at Visa through a newly established treasury as a service business within the new flows division. Okay, so so much happening there. Colleen, tell us about treasury as a service. What, what exactly does it mean? And more specifically, what is it going to mean for customers? You alluded to it, particularly with the FX rate, that it's not going to change, it fixes. So, um, as you know, cross-border money movement is integral to our network of networks. And Visa sits centrally in cross-border payments globally, but historically has been purchase flow centric. Mm. So what Treasury as a Service is doing is it's evolving our perspective on that cross-border space. So it's an extension of your core service. It really is, it really is. And so if you think about it, think about Treasury as a Service as the foundation or infrastructure that allows our clients to provide world-class cross-border products and services to their end users. And if you think about it, Visa has been doing this for years, if not decades, of really focusing on our treasury expertise because we needed to meet our own cross-border needs. Hmm. So now what we're able to do is we're able to externalize that to our clients for their benefit and in, as a service. Yeah, and, and Alex, what about the customer experience? Because we shouldn't forget that this is, this is really the key to it. If you, don't, if you don't serve your customers right, then they will migrate elsewhere. Yeah, absolutely. And we know that cross-border payments are very difficult. There are fundamental issues on speed, cost, access and transparency, like we've heard already at, at Cybos yesterday, um, but also things like security and resilience that really impact the customer experience. And we also know that financial institutions are tackling these difficult problems in different ways. And our combined treasury service offering looks to really meet the clients where their needs are and allow them to address whatever problems they're, they're, they're prioritized to address. So to give you a few examples, we've developed a set of solutions for issuers specifically that are looking to tackle the various problems of cross-border payments. For those issuers that are tackling the problem of transparency, we are now holding the, 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 the conversion constant between the rate when the customer transacts, either in person or online, and the rate that they pay when the transaction settles. As a result, they get the certainty for the end user, as well as the transparency on what that cross-border transaction will cost. But similarly, for those issuers that are looking to broaden access to cross-border services, we've now enabled them to build innovative customer propositions by giving them access to things like real-time FX rates and also giving them the ability to pre-purchase and hold foreign currencies in multi-currency wallets. So you're actually helping the, the, your, your clients in a way to actually scale up because of the, the, because of the service which you, which you offer, because of this, this union between the two of you. That is correct. Yeah, we're building the infrastructure and a set of in a set of solutions that our clients can, can use 
to build innovative customers. Right. So, so you're a business aid, effectively. Correct. But look, I mean, it, it, it's great what you're doing. And yes, we hear about efficiency, speed and reliance, but you can't get away from the fact that there are pain points. I mean, what are the main pain points that many businesses experience and how do you overcome these? Yeah, the cross-border payments market globally is very challenging. There are no ubiquitous global standards. There's countless regulators we need to satisfy. And, and of course, um, the, the businesses, especially that, that look to transact internationally, um, face a fewer options because correspondent banks are de-risking. Meaning that as more and more consumers need to send and receive money internationally, the options that they have are actually reducing. Um, and we also know that businesses, especially smaller and medium-sized businesses, um, they need to, set, would need to set up the banking infrastructure to support their needs in various currencies and countries. And the investment required to do that is often prohibited. The time, the time involved to set it up and to maintain those, those networks, as well as the costs involved, usually make, make it not a viable solution for fast-growing businesses. We are now addressing that problem by combining the scale and depth of treasury expertise of Visa with the agility and technology of Currency Cloud to, to provide the solutions that our clients need. We're effectively enabling our clients to act like local players mm. on a global scale. Yeah, and I'd be fascinated to get your take on this as well, Colleen, because it's a real issue, and particularly when we heard there about these, the different compliance initiatives as well, because you're having to navigate so many different borders. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think we're really seeing in the industry a shift to the cloud, right? Uh, traditional banks and, and financial institutions can no longer keep customer data on site. It's just not sustainable for the long term. So in Currency Cloud, we have this cloud native platform that supports our treasury as a service solutions. You know, we also are seeing that traditional banks and FIs are really focused on improving the customer experience. Neobanks and fintechs have definitely raised the bar for all of us on this. Um, and so again, with what we have with Currency Cloud and what we're doing with Treasury as a Service, we're helping them to meet that need for the customer experience. Okay, guys, you are navigating these incredible waters really, really well. There is so much happening. You're carving out your space and hopefully we'll be able to hook up with you next year to see, well, to, to actually gauge your progress even further. You've got a great story to tell. But Colleen and Alex, thank you so much for joining us here on Cybos TV. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.